Good morning, people. It's surgery day, 4th of July, 2017. And, um, yeah, we're in, we're in a mixed, I'm in a mixed mood. I'm flitting between, I can do this, to, oh my God. Um, the thing is, right, what, what was going through my mind just now was, you know how um, when you get an ulcer, like if you get an ulcer in your mouth or on your tongue or you bite yourself or when you're brushing your teeth a bit too vigorously and you whack yourself in the gums or whatever, how sore it is on, you know, on that kind of skin. And today I'll be having the sides of the inside of my throat burnt off. That is not going to be nice. That feeling, I can't, it's going to be like having two gigantic ulcers at the back of my throat. You know how long they take to heal. They don't, it's not an overnight thing. And I have, I've made myself not look at any more vlogs because I mean days ago I only there was only one day where I did it days ago and I and I nearly talked myself out of having it done um, because the thing to remember is we're all different we all re react to things differently and some people might be hardcore some people might be drama queen um, I mean I'm I'm realistic enough to know it's not going to be nice and I'd rather not do it but I'm telling myself that short-term pain long-term gain um, yeah so <laughs> oh if I sit and think too much you know it's it's easy to to think oh no you know not not do it but um, I think I've got the logistics of, you know, the next three, four days sorted. So that's good. That's a weight off my mind. Um, yeah. So time now is quarter to eight in the morning. So I'm on clear fluids only now until 11 o'clock when I, when I check into the hospital. And, um, and then it's a waiting game. So, wish me luck. Oh. Well, here I am at the hospital. I've been here for over an hour and a half now. And I've only just been fitted with my wristbands and been asked a few questions. I am um, having a little vape. Don't know if I'm allowed or not, but yeah, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and I've been told I could be waiting ooh, hours. So, not particularly nervous now because the lorazepam's kicked in. I'm actually really tired and really hungry and kind of grumpy. So, yeah, I'm here, I'm waiting, I'll let you know how we go. Oh my God, I'm just about to go down for surgery and I'm, ooh, I'm sure it'll all be fine. A bit hot and bothered, uh, just got to do it. So, wish me luck. Hi, so I've had the art, which is very, very painful. I'm hoping you can hear me, because I've got a fad on. I woke up after the operation in the recovery room and I started having a massive panic attack. It's horrible because I couldn't, I couldn't swallow and they wouldn't let me get off the bed. I just wanted to pace around. I didn't, I didn't have anything with me like my bag or my phone or anything. One of the nurses just started to talk to me about things that I like and, and I got into the conversation. 
conversation and that back to just like distraction which is key you know when you're when you're panicking and you're having like a really loads of negative thoughts you need you need something or someone to to, to get you out of it in a non, non forceful way so that you start to think about something else so anyway because I was panicking I, I I asked my sister my middle sister to come see me so she she's come to see me which made me feel much better she's just she's just coming back into the room now so I'll you see she, so it's a video uh -huh. I'm doing Okay. What flavour sandwich are you doing? Okay. After explaining that. Oh, I have to have a yoghurt. They want me to have a sandwich. I'll talk to you in a minute. Thank you, Kyle. My throat's really sore, but I'm doing okay. I'm glad I did it. I'm going to bed now. Talk to you tomorrow.